Science and technology have advanced more in the last 100 years than in all of the previous years of human history, and more in the last 10 years than in the previous 90 years. With this in mind, it's really hard to imagine what the future will look like in 1,000 years. Will humanity still be around, or will we face extinction? This is Googleplex, and here is what would happen before 3019. The world will be very different from what we see at the moment. We will live somewhere beyond Earth. In 1,000 years, we will probably have a thriving civilization on Mars, the Moon, or maybe even another planet beyond the solar system. We've already discovered billions and billions of planets outside our own solar system. There are 40 billion Earth-like planets in our own galaxy alone. Superhuman powers will be available to common citizenry. Everyone will be genetically screened as an embryo to weed out defects and correct mistakes in their personal genome. Even some natural mutations could take hold. Upgraded transhumans would be able to perform feats regarded as godlike to denizens of earlier times. We'll be cyborgs. In a thousand years, our tech will be much more advanced. Tiny electronics attached or implanted directly in our bodies could make our immune systems stronger and help fight diseases. Programmed nanobots could revolutionize surgery and brain implants could make us smarter and even capable of instantly downloading skills like in the matrix or accessing the internet with just our thoughts. We'll have supercomputers. Technology has improved exponentially since the 1500s, and this pace will likely continue into the centuries to come. Physicist Stephen Hawking proposed that by the year 2600, this growth would see 10 new theoretical physics papers published every 10 seconds. If Moore's law holds true, and both computer speed and complexity double every 18 months, then some of these studies may be the work of highly intelligent machines. On Earth, a system of overland or underground hyperloops will be available to all major cities and towns, with speeds upwards of 1,200 miles per hour, allowing you to take a day trip from London to Sydney instead of the current 18-hour flight time. We may become immortal. Futurist and author Adrian Berry believes that in the year 3019, the average human lifespan will reach 140 years and that the digital storage of human personalities will enable a kind of computerized immortality. Note that this lifespan refers to purely biological humans who comprise a small minority by now. Humanity will become a type 2 civilization on the Kardashev scale. In the 30th century, people of the future will inevitably need to fully harness the output of the sun. The largest structure now being built in space is a Dyson sphere. Under the direction of a godlike superintelligence, vast swarms of automated, self-replicating ships are building it, using material from the asteroid field, Kuiper Belt, and Oort Cloud. The sphere's primary purpose is to harvest literally all of the energy output from the sun, some 386 yotta joules per second. Most of the remaining plastics, tin cans and other waste products from the 20th, 21st centuries have decomposed by now. They caused significant harm to the environment during their time on Earth, injuring millions of birds, fish and other animals. Subsequent generations of these materials were produced in ways that minimize their impact. Stephen Hawking wasn't very hopeful about the future of our planet. He believed that we need to find a way to leave Earth in the next hundred years. What do you think? We'd like to hear your opinion in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe.